Oh, hey, girl. Ladies and gentlemen, fishing freaks of all ages, welcome on back to the channel. I am so excited to present today's video to you because we are at the Casa de Jimmy. Jimmy Houston, the one and only America's favorite fisherman. I grew up watching Jimmy Houston when I was a kid. Uh, me and my dad on Saturday mornings would watch Jimmy. He's an He's not just a TV figure, he's an incredible angler, so many accomplishments, and his love for the outdoors is, I would say, contagious. This ranch is heaven. It is so awesome, and it's got two lakes on it. We're going to be doing some fishing while we're up here. We're going to explore Jimmy's place, we're going to meet the man himself, and if you guys haven't seen Jimmy Houston's videos, uh, he is on YouTube and Facebook and other things too, not just TV. And I'll link him down below. Actually, something that he's become famous for here recently, in the recent years, is his deer. They do live in the woods, but they come by every day. Don't believe me? Let's say hi to the crew over here. Give me a bud. Give me a bud. Okay, well, they haven't really warmed up to me yet, but it is not just white-tailed deer. There are elk some beautiful bulls. They don't have their antlers right now, obviously, neither do the whitetail. There's turkeys. I mean, there's turkeys just strutting around. I, the, there's two lakes. There's there's cro giant crappies. It, just beautiful, healthy lakes, y'all. It is, it is the dream. So some of you that are really young that may not know who Jimmy Houston is, he is considered a legend of the industry. And I kind of like to compare Jimmy and Bill, you know, Hank Parker, Roland Martin, those anglers, they were the original TV anglers and they got a ton of people into fishing and so I really look up to them uh, and they were much more accomplished anglers <laughs> than we are here at the Cougat Squad but we still love fishing just the same as them and we're trying to bring people into the sport too so it's like there's a connection there, you know what I'm saying? Let's go take a tour of Jimmy's place and let's meet the legend himself. This is a very special deer. She is a sweetheart. She's had babies out here. Yes, you have. Yes, you have. And you are just a sweetie. So crazy, y'all. I <laughs> think I'd be petting a deer. We got this boy right here. This is a, a yearling buck. You can see his little nubs on top. What do you think about my pants here? I like your little buttons. I like your little buttons. You're probably going to be a 200 inch buck someday. <laughs> Judging from the other things I've seen out here. But how crazy is that, y'all? They have little collars on. She goes everywhere with Jimmy. Jimmy can be anywhere in the woods. Call her. She comes on the boat sometimes, like sleeps on the back deck <laughs> of the house. Unbelievable. So this, ladies and gentlemen, is what a morning at Jimmy Houston's looks like from the front deck. Oh, easy, easy on the nose blow. But there's a big party going on in the back. Hey, you want some pets? Didn't really pet you this morning. Yeah. Get a sniff. Give it a sniff. Mm -hmm. water real quick because there's a break in the rain right now but this is the lake 
look at this gorgeousness. Look how clear the water is, y'all. It's absolutely gorgeous. And the way Jimmy stalks his leg, his philosophy, you know, he doesn't grow giants, but he feeds the lake with nutrients, fertilizing, um, tons of grass and tons of bait fish. So there's bluegill in here, there's shad, there's tilapia at times. So lots of bass can grow to a really healthy weight really fast. And this lake is about 125 acres. This is one of the lakes right here. And it is around 60 foot deep out in the middle. It is deep. And there's the man himself, America's favorite fisherman. Oh, Jimmy Houston, coming out to take a look. I think I might give Joe Arms a call right now. Uh, and tell you, hey, you got time to come by and set the trap over. That is an otter. Eat that. They, they clean, clean them to the bone, don't they? That is sad. I've got relatives that don't even need to crop you down to the bone that, that much. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy! That is, that, is, that is eating it down to the bone right there. See? That otter is living in the wrong area code, though. i got to tell you that. <laughs> he will be trapped well, and relocated for you otter lovers. <laughs> <laughs> There's only one fisherman out there that can get him better than an otter, and that's Jimmy Houston. It, it, I will tell you, that otter is pretty, he's pretty, he's he's pretty, pretty good. Deadly. He's pretty deadly. So, ladies and gentlemen, America's favorite fisherman, Jimmy Houston, <laughs> here. Uh, you're going to film a show today. We're going to film with here. Winston today. Yep. If we don't get rained out, you know, we're going to kind of try to go in between rain, just barely sprinkling right now. We can film out here in this and not mess up all of our camera equipment. Yeah. And, but uh, it should be good. I mean, they're going to be biting. Gonna this be biting. water is so clear. Oh, it is. I, it's a little too clear. We will so fertilize clear. this, and we will drop it down to about probably 12 or 14 inches as far as you'll be able to see. Uh -huh. But right now you can see four foot. Oh, it's beautiful. Yeah, it's just, it's just beautiful. It's, it makes it, it real pretty when you catch fish, but it's better fishing when we put a little more color in it. Yeah, because they can yeah. see. Yeah. So so it's pretty deep out in the middle. Yeah, but, we've got a lot of 30 foot water. Uh, at the end of the docks, there's about 15. We've got 55 foot water down by the dam. Uh, so we got a lot of deep water, got a lot of shallow water. All this up in there, Justin, is a big flat. Got Good. a lot of grass. You can see all the grass here growing around the bank, and and uh, two or three different types of grass, coontail and hydrilla, and, and goes on out. Oh, and the fish live in that grass constantly, just like they do in all other lakes. It's got grass, and and uh, today a lot of them are going to be around the edges of the grass because of this cloud cover and oh, it's yeah. rain, and they're going to be laying on top of the grass. Should be able to catch one spinnerbait. Spinnerbait. Catch First thing out of Jimmy's mouth. I will throw spinner a spinnerbait. <laughs> I promise you. Uh, should be able to catch them on a sinking worm. Uh -huh. uh, should be able to catch them on a crankbait. Should be able to catch them on something else. <laughs> uh, yeah. You know, the water's getting up so warm right now, you could probably water, throw right? top water. Yeah. And probably catch them. Not going to be the greatest, but you probably could. Throw a jerkbait catch them, I believe. Okay. And uh, probably just about any kind of plastic jigs, you know. They're going to be biting. we got to get back out there let's, before the rain pours down on us. I can't come out here and not throw a spinnerbait yeah, at Jimmy Hughes' place. That would be a crime. She says, I want to go in the boat. Who sometimes likes to get in it's the boat. soaking wet. I love cameras. <laughs> I know about cameras. I love cameras. That's my baby. That's my girl. Yeah, my girl. That is yeah. awesome. Well, <laughs> it's time to go do what you do and make some fishing shows. Let's go have some fun. I'm now going to take you into the tackle cave at Jimmy Houston's. This is where a fisherman can come in here, think about where the next dangle is, how to do it, what to throw, rigging, all of the things. You know, it's almost just as fun. Just getting ready, thinking about the big bass you're gonna catch, and look at the space that Jimmy's got to do that in. <laughs> this is a one, two, three boat garage in here, full of tackle, full of dangling fishing rods, and it is just a fisherman's paradise. I don't think I'll ever be cool enough to have a cardboard cutout of myself, but when you have a cardboard cutout of yourself in your giant uh, truck and boat garage, I think you have made it. Map selection, do a little map shopping. What do we got? Hidden Secrets, Lake Darnell, poster, poster, look at the hair. I actually thought about wearing a wig to come down here, like a, like a look-alike Jimmy wig, but I didn't want to, didn't want him to think I was like super weird, so. 
Didn't do that. Would have been funny, possibly. You may have seen uh, some of these rods in in Walmart. Uh, those are some of his signature series uh, crappie rods. All these random tackle trays full of the goodies. This looks like sort of the crappie section over here. The Road Runners, which anybody that's watched Jimmy Houston for any number of years knows that he's caught a million fish on Road Runners. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Got your big A-rig section right here. I see tons of jig heads, umbrella rigs, um, just tons of different kinds of jerk baits, uh, soft plastic, anything. Y'all look at this. look at the shelf space. This is basically like having a entire tackle store right here in your home. Look at that. Well organized. Oh, 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 oh. what do we have here? And we got some sneaky old classic stuff, y'all, that, um, I mean, look at this right here, the old Cotton Cordell. Uh, we got some classic Smithwick Rogues. You know when they start getting that little yellow tint on the package? They're classics. Bomber, long A's, just some classic big fish style lures. Look at all these little Hedons, torpedoes. Oh, man, I've got, I've actually got some of these back at my house not in the package though look at this beautiful some of these are discontinued then we got the line section over here it just continues on and on y'all and look at all this space to park your vehicles oh hey how about a little deer antler sheds how about a little elk i want to show you guys the boat garage this is just boats and he's He's actually going to rig the rest of the uh, the walls out tackle-wise. They're working on it right now. But one, two, three, four boat slots. And he actually has five boats in here. So he's got his aluminum boats, you know, he's doing that crappie snatching game. Brand new trackers and mercs. And uh, I, I feel honored that the silver bullet is actually in here right now, you guys. Isn't, isn't that beautiful? Oh my gosh, this is, this is my dream one day to have something like this, some little metal building and a little piece of land that I can, can park it on. That is just, whew, man, having big dreams in here right now. Can't come out here and not have a spinnerbait rigged up. So that's probably my first thing I'm going to do is try to catch one on a spinnerbait because I'm at Jimmy's. And if you guys have never watched Jimmy Houston before, the man made a chartreuse and white spinnerbait just a way of life. And uh, if you remember Terminator spinnerbaits, I don't know how many of those things I bought just from watching Jimmy Houston fish them all those years. But anyways, dreamland right now. And the garage flooring is something else. It is, I don't know what kind of material this is, what's going on, but this is like a, um, a slotted material. Things can drain through here and it just makes the garage pop. It's gorgeous. Right now, I think what I'm gonna do, just for me personally, this is gonna be really difficult for you guys, is I wanna launch the boat and go fish. The filming is gonna be terrible, the audio is going to be terrible. I need to get out there for myself in the rain. It's gonna be raining all day, there's nothing I can do. I'm only up here a couple days. I, I need to go out there. So, uh, I'm gonna grab a couple of GoPros. We're gonna load up the Silver Bullet. And we're going to go fishing in Jimmy Houston's lake. Now leaving the Jimmy garage. I actually don't know where I'm going, but I think Jimmy said the ramp was down here somewhere. Let's see the boat ramp. Wow, there's an entire cove over here. Okay, y'all, we're gonna attempt to make this work. Keyword, attempt. Batteries, cameras, water never works out well but I just have to get out of here I have to experience this 
but I'll tell you guys a back story. So I've actually been here once before, but I was working at the time. I was working filming some TV shows in the outdoor industry and we ended up here and I never got to hold a fishing pole. So I've been on this lake once before and I told the story to Jimmy too and he remembers surprisingly that I came. But we came here, I filmed, I never got to touch a rod. It was awesome to be here. Um, and a lot of this stuff is new, the stuff that I haven't seen, especially the deer and stuff like that. But never got to experience the fishing for myself. So special day, special moments. I'm gonna put some of this stuff in the dry box. So hopefully you can witness me catch a fish out here for the first time. But uh, yeah, it's rainy, it's nasty. Boat's mucky, dirty, but I literally spent another hour last time I talked to you just rigging up stuff. So I've got, I'm, I'm so ready to go. And we're gonna try to get some bass. So let's go get it. Barely got any gas in here, but don't think we're gonna need it. Just gonna back it out and drop the trolling motor. Yep, I'm just gonna drop the trolling motor. The craziest thing about this place, y'all, is it's just stacked with trees. Absolutely stacked. In honor of you, Jimmy, I definitely need to be throwing a spinner bait. It's not chartreuse and white, I apologize. It does have some chartreuse and white blades on it. But, uh, yeah, you know what? It'd be bad luck not to throw that spinner bait. Let's go searching for a full blown Oklahoma fatty. Come on now. Wow. <laughs> this water is so clear. Ooh, mossy. There's many different species of grass in here. Okay, that's what I came back with. Come on, big in. All right, Jimmy, I'm sorry. I had to pick up a little swim bait just because not enjoying this little filamentous algae we got going here but the lake is very very healthy lots of little things living in that obviously guys this is not an odd <laughs> this is not an automatic thing here it's not like every cast you know you're just gonna get one you gotta work for it which is just fine with me. I like to figure these little things out. There's a bass right now. Water 57. Not quite the full blown spawn going on here. This crappie ought to be really close. Oh. oh. Got hammered. First bite. Nipped it. Got him. It's coming back for it. Got him right there. Oh my God, that's a crappie. It's a giant. Oh my gosh. This could be my biggest crappie ever. Oh my goodness. Oh, what a hammer. Oh, what a hammer. I hate a swim bait. Oh, look at this black crappie, y'all. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Holy cow. Look at that freaking hammer, y'all. Oh, he crushed that son He came back for it a couple times. That is a logger-headed ninny muggins. Look at that. Holy moly. That's a dinner plate and a half. Giant black crappie. Not going to be my biggest ever, but definitely a code. Magnum crappie, y'all. Jimmy told me, he said, a lot of people catch their biggest crappie ever out here he said there are three pounders scary got that one on the old saucy with the flashy swim on it so if that's what's in here oh my goodness we we're looking at a time crappie fishing y'all come here healthy one Gone. Oh yeah. 
Yeah, first bass of Jimmy Houston, baby! Beautiful. Beautiful. Hook just comes right out because we're using barbless. Beautiful fish. Love to see it, y'all. Healthy, healthy, healthy chunks. So I smashed my barbs down on all my baits, so all these fish will have nice, nice, healthy mouths to go about their business. That's how Jimmy does it out here. And, uh, you know, I haven't had a problem with it so far. That's two bites, two fish in the boat. So the average size out here isn't going to be humongous. You know, we're not talking about five to eight, eight pounders, but probably average size is going to be around three pounds, which is pretty phenomenal and just healthy. So much to eat in here. I know it's watery. Guys, I just had to get on the lake. I've already caught one of my biggest crappie, the biggest black crappie ever. Just caught a nice healthy bass. Learning the lake a little bit. And uh, honestly, I know it's not great for video, but I could fish out of here all day. So normally a lake that's this steep, you're not gonna have grass that thick up there like that, but there's this nice thick wall of algae and then other grasses, there's one. Oh my gosh, that one tattooed it. I let him have it too, I don't know what happened there. I'm gonna need a new swimmer. Could have been another Magnum crappie, who knows? Just trying to eat it. Good. Large mouth. With a large mouth. <laughs> Look at the healthiness. Oh, come here, sugar. Oh my gosh, you're fat. I can't even flip you. Holy moly, man. Woo Look at the healthiness on that one y'all holy cow that is awesome absolutely awesome look at the fatness and that fish is a little red in the belly getting ready to drop some eggs Woo! that is something else right there another model of fisheries management excellence y'all look at that Woo, baby let you go see you sugar bugger Okay, Whew, that was fun. Right on that tree there. Wow, watch that fish eat it on the graph. <laughs> actually saw that fish over there on my live scope and I saw it swimming as I made a cast over there. This little one, but this fat. <laughs> Man. Oh my gosh, one just right there. Called it in. Got him. Oh my gosh. You kidding me? Is that what we're dealing with? Holy cow. <laughs> <laughs> Got him. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this bass is like, oh my goodness, what is going on? Took my pinchers, eight, I think, bit my bait about 14 times. Oh, I think that's a crappie. No, it's a little bass. Fun fight, buddy. There you go. Nice thing about that barbless hook, you can shake those little ones off the boat if you want to. So, just picked up something different. Hopefully you guys can see and hear this. Not really sure. One with the Grass Hero. And put that uh, Junior Kraken Crawl on there. And this is a swim jig. I've got it on 
40 pound braid on the 7-2 reaction rod. So this is this is a setup that I've just dedicated to grass fishing for this grass hero. I like fishing the thin diameter braid. It really cuts through the grass, but I picked it up because this moss is so bad and I can kind of feel when this one gets a little dragged up and twitch it and it'll get out of that moss stuff a lot easier than spinner bait or that swim bait even will. Wow, there's one right under my trolling motor. Guess he wants to hang out. He's gonna see that jig. There's already a fish on it and I got him. Jeez. Okay. Saw that one on live scope. We wanted it. Oh goodness. Man, they're getting this. Oh my god. Oh my gosh, big one. Oh my gosh. Big one ate it two times. Whoa, there we go. <laughs> that was sweet. That was sweet as sugar. Come here, you bugger. Oh, definitely this is what's happening, y'all. I can tell you. They're eating the pinchers off. So that fish, I felt it hit it. I set the hook, there was nothing there. I came back, I felt another hit, and dropped it, and then I just let it drop again. And this water's so clear, these fish will chase it out. And he grabbed the swim jig without the pinchers that last time. And that's a beautiful fish. Three in high threes, about a four. Really nice. Fun times. So now fishing this swim jig and any other jig that I have that has those crawfish pinchers on the back, I'm gonna wait until that fish is grabbed it a second time. So they'll, they'll grab it, they'll shake the pinchers off, they'll let go, and then they want the body. They want the body of that thing, but if, if this water were not clear, they wouldn't be able to, to catch that body of the crawfish that I'm swimming because the water would be dirty and I'd jerk them away from them and they'd lose it, but it was so clear they can come back on it. But I'm gonna to try to do a better job of letting them take it that second time. I just love fishing jigs like this. There's one. Go. Let them have it. <laughs> Little one. But fun. And that one got it on the swim, but I didn't set the hook right away. Just let him eat it. Ah. And it's nice having this this rod when I'm swimming it too. And having the reaction rod. This is like a crankbait rod, but I've got that braid on it so I can get a good hook set. Just keeps them pegged. See ya. Fun, fun, fun. Looks like a nice little spawner pocket. Wow, I see one on a bed, y'all. Oh my gosh, that fish, oh my gosh, that fish is defensive. <laughs> Holy moly. Oh my goodness, that was a decent one. I watched him. He just, I thought he had the whole thing. He hung on to it for a sec. They're really grabbing these pinchers. Oh, goodness. That one ate it. Oh, he's got it. He's going under the boat. Jeez, what a screamer. 
thought he dropped it too. Pretty sure he came off that log there. Oh my gosh. That one had some soldiers. There we go. Came back and got it. <laughs> I'm telling y'all. This is a cool bite. Mm. We got it. They're barely getting it. Ah, yeah. Same exact thing, ladies and gentlemen. Look at that. Takes the pinchers, rips them off, comes back and gets the body. Four pounder. Got to love it, baby. Mm -mm -mm. All right, beautiful. Oh, you're angry. I'm not going to kiss you. I'm going to sniff you. Okay, that's Jimmy. I'm the sniffer. <sighs> love it. You smell so sweet. Getting a tiny break from the rain right now. I'm embracing it. What a beautiful fishery. I cannot wait to come out here with Jimmy tomorrow and really learn from the master himself. But this is just, it's just insane. Just insane. I've already gotten my fill for today, you know, catching a few four pounders, a giant crappie, and just getting to actually see some fish swimming around. So awesome. I'm gonna do something real quick. A little change. I'm gonna pick up a dart since it is calm here for just a second. This looks very much darty back in here. That swim jig, they're really thinking it's a crawfish. Just the way they're acting on it, breaking off those pinchers. So I'm gonna try this little bluegill imitator. See if we can get a big one to really suck it in. Ooh, nice. Okay, I'm gonna pick my swim jig back up now. I just, man, I really get down there kind of quick and stay right above this little grass line. That's what's tricky about fishing right here is. I mean, it's deep. It's 30 foot right here where I'm sitting. So, this, the fish seem to be right on the edge of these little grass lines. And if you can swim that thing, kind of lower your rod tip, lift it up as you're making contact with the grass, just makes it pretty efficient. Oh, that one had it. Golly. They are just not getting it. Let him take it. <laughs> there we go. Little guy. Now that one I just let him have it swimming what I'm waiting to feel for is that second thump they'll eat it that first time and then they shake they shake their head they let go of the bait and then they'll pick it up again you can always tell the fish are actually feeding on crawfish in the lake when they do that and Jimmy told me this morning that he, he stocks crawfish in here every year so that's how they naturally forage for crawlers. They rip those pinchers right off. Back in, ooh, look at this fish on the live scope right here. That's a dandy of one. And I don't think Jimmy's got carp in here. It's a big one. Oh my gosh, one got it. One got it out there. I just saw him. And it's another one's coming back. Another one's coming back. He's got it. Another one's coming back. Another one on the scope right now. But I want this up. Gosh, dang it. 
Oh, you should have seen that other one on the last yoke. Oh, man, the thing's out here in the middle of nowhere. Come here. All right, y'all, we got on the far bank there, uh, Lucy and her friends, the deer, are coming to see us. Let's see if we can get some more of these bass in here. Mm. Okay. A little thunder. A little, a little Oklahoma thunder and a big old bass. Oh, yeah. That's a nice one. Big old chunky bass. Oh, yeah. Big old jumps. Ah! Sort of embarrassed to say that. <laughs> I threw it out there and I never even moved it when that fish got on there. But that happens sometimes. Heavy. That one's upper four is getting on that five range right there. Beautiful. See you later. Beautiful. Look at that clear water. Y'all, you got to smash the like button on that. Look at that. Amazing. Five pounder swimming off into the deeps. Gotta love it. Oh boy. You're supposed to be a big one hanging in there between them trees. God, even the little ones are just healthy. Healthy butts. Got it? Yep. Let them have it. Oh, yeah. Juicy booty. Come here. I switched up a trailer on this one. Went to the rattling chunk. And that one. That one did not break the claws off, thank goodness. Oh my gosh, the fish grabbed it right off the bed. I just, I, did, I never saw the fish, I just saw the spot. Crazy. Old buck bass coming in there, get him a bed. Boink. See you later. I've had so many hits on this jig today that my skirt is starting to wither away i love to love to see that oh yeah just listen to this listen to this little little dibby on the swim jig that's nice that's a good little combo Fun times. Yeah, we got a couple. We got one right now. It's a giant. Maybe I exaggerated. <laughs> Just a good old healthy Jimmy Houston grown bass right there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Come here, sugar bugger. What are we dealing with? If it's a crappie, it's a magnum. I think it might be 
a good one. It feels like it has weight. Yeah, oh yeah, that's a bass. It's, it's one of them full grown upper three, four pounders that just doesn't want to get in the boat. And I appreciate the fight and these fish are chunkwads. Absolute chunkwads. Pretty amazing how many fish I've landed without the bar being on there, quite honestly. And Jimmy told me that last night. He said, you'll be surprised how many fish you don't lose. That fish, y'all, is hefty. That's a four pounder. That would normally be like a three and a half pounder. It's just so dense. Really nice. See ya. Well, y'all, we had to bring it in. Uh, the rain got really, really bad. It was just coming down, cats and dogs. And had to shut the fishing operation down, but had an incredible fishing experience uh, for the first time out on Jimmy's Place. My biggest one was probably just under five, maybe touching five extremely healthy bass and that giant crappie. And it was just fun. That swim jig, uh, the Grass Hero, that really seemed to be uh, the deal for me. I mean, I talked to some of the other guys and, and Jimmy and, you know, they were catching, they caught a few on crankbaits and things like that, but, and a spinner bait, of course, but uh, I actually got a lot, I got a lot of bites, it sounded like, just comparing notes. Um, so that swim jig did really good, which I haven't really picked up a swim jig much this year, and that's why I really wanted to pick it up today, and, and the, all that moss that's grown in the lake just made it really easy to fish, so. That was probably the key lure for today, but it, it, more importantly, the day was more about just being here uh, at Jimmy's place, um, spending some time with him. He's he's an amazing guy and just one of the greats of our fishing industry. So I feel honored to be here and to be able to film with him tomorrow. I'm actually gonna be on his show. We're gonna fish together for my channel as well. So you guys wanna stay tuned, you know, just go ahead and hit that subscribe button right now. Just go ahead and do it. And if you don't, smash that like button dagger then you don't love fishing if you don't smash that like button you just don't love fishing because coming to jimmy's place america's favorite fisherman it's just an honor and a pleasure so y'all more videos to come up here at jimmy's god bless you i will see you soon hey, there, there comes another one <laughs> jimmy fishing legend